Welcome to your Outriders news. Everything you need to know in the countdown to the World Slayer's launch. All the opinions without the bullshit. The Outriders team are currently showcasing new legendary armor, starting off with the Concussioner's gear set. Melee focused armor for the Devastator. The previous melee focused armor was the Cannonball gear set, which was about as effective as a lighthouse in the desert. The Concussioner's gear set comes with specific tier three mods though. The buff melee damage, including concussive force, Brawl and Claws, all of which synergize with the gear set bonus and the new tier 3 mod chip off the old block. I'm a big fan of build diversity, but surely this is putting lipstick on a pig. A pure melee build would never be able to compete with the meta builds, particularly against some of the more mobile or flying elite enemies coming in World Slayer. Enjoy chasing those around the map. Outriders did showcase a build using this gear set, but as with many of their builds, I'm left wondering if they've actually played the game. Wait for the community to create more optimal Optimized builds for this gear set before diving in. The second closed beta started on May the 26th and is expected to run for around two weeks. Only experienced Outriders with more than 50 hours in the game were able to participate in the closed beta. So a long weekend really. Let's be realistic though. With this beta being so close to launch, the game must be going gold in the next couple of weeks. There won't be any sweeping changes at this stage. There has been some backlash in the Outriders community around the pricing of the World Slayer expansion, with some calls for it to be free. Clearly hundreds of hours of gameplay is not enough for some people. Paul Tassi reported a couple of weeks ago that to date people can fly have not received any royalties from Square Enix for Outriders and they have recently said that the game may never be profitable. This is simple. If PCF and Square Enix are to continue to develop this game that we all love, they need to make a reasonable profit. Not huge, but reasonable. They aren't a charity. In a world where pay to win is becoming the norm and Giga Whales exist, a one off pay to play seems like a great place to be. So a lot hangs on the success of the World Slayer expansion. They don't sell enough? This might be the end of what I think is one of the best new franchises we've seen in a long time. So I'll be keeping everything crossed and shelling out my tiny Google AdSense paycheck. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this and see you next time. Casual out.